Welcome to Programmer. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create your own responsive navigation bar using Bootstrap and customize it according to your own needs using CSS. So let's jump right into it. So let's first see how to create a standard navigation bar. For this, you'll first need the nav tags. Every navigation bar should have a nav tags and all the content will be wrapped between these nav tags. Next, you'll include two classes, navbar and navbar, navbar default. The class navbar default will add the most standard or basic navigation bar. The class container will give you margin and padding around your navigation bars, but you can use the class container fluid too, and that will make the navigation bar extend to the full width of the screen. Let's take a look at Apple's homepage. You can see that their navigation bar contains lots of links and also a logo of their company. So to include the company name or the brand name or a logo, you have to use the class navbar brand. And you can give a link. Usually you can use the name of the company or if you don't want the name of the company, if you want the logo, all you have to do is change it to an image tag. So one thing to remember is the class navbar brand has its own padding and height. So you might have to override some CSS depending on the size or dimensions of your image. This link should be wrapped in a class called navbar header. For displaying links in your navigation bar, we use an unordered list. The class that we use is called nav, navbar nav. You can have as many list items that you require. I have just used four for now. In the HDF part, you can give a link to any website that you want, or if you don't want to give a link, just make it hash for now. With this, the basic structure of your navigation bar is done. Let's save this and open it in the browser to see the result. So this is the default navigation bar in Bootstrap. Notice the background color. Notice the border. You will see when I hover about the links, they change color. The logo is a bigger, bigger font than the links and the color is also slightly different from the links. And you'll also notice a padding around each of the links and the logo. In case you don't like the default navigation bar and you want something like Apple's homepage, Bootstrap provides an alternative. The inverted navigation bar is exactly the same as the default except for one change. You replace the class navbar default with the class navbar inverse. Everything else remains the same. So this right here is your inverted navigation bar. It definitely looks much cooler than your default navigation bar. Now notice the darker background around the home link. This shows the user that he or she is currently in that page. You can have this darker background around any of the links. So how do you get this? What you do is you go to the desired link, whichever one you want to show is active and add the class active. So this will add the darker background that you require. You can add it to any link you want to tell the user that he or she is currently on that page. Next is the right align navigation bar. You'll notice that by default, all the navbar buttons and the logo are left aligned. But what if you want to right align them? What if you want the logo on the right side? Or what if you want the navbar buttons on the right side? Very simple. Whichever ones you want on the right side, just add the class navbar right. Now adding the class navbar right to my unordered list will make my navbar buttons go to the right. So when I refresh, you can see that the navbar buttons are on the right. To get my logo on the right, I just have to add the class navbar right along with the navbar header class. And when I save this and refresh, voila, logo moves to the right. So now that you know how to create three types of navigation bar, choose whichever one you like or feel comfortable with and add your own CSS styles to suit your need, to suit the color or the background of your web page. So when you refresh it, it looks something like this. This is the CSS that I've added. You can add as much CSS as you like and make it as pretty, as nice as possible. So let's see if these navigation bars are responsive. I'm going to go ahead and resize my browser window. Notice how 
the horizontal navigation bars become vertical navigation bars as you resize them. Once they reach a certain width, once the browser window reaches a certain width, they become vertically aligned. Cool, the navigation bars are responsive. So there you go, very simple and easy to create responsive navigation bars using Bootstrap. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up.